What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com, back with our Aviation Facts video. Today it's kind of a continuation on the series of videos that we've been doing. Of course, we talked about how a plane can land itself, how it can land with one engine, but what if it loses two engines? Now we won't be doing a full-on landing with a two-engine failure, but I do want to show you what some of the procedures are and some of the safety nets that most aircraft have, well almost all aircraft have, to combat the the loss of two engines. Now we are in prepared 3D and we are in PMDG's 777. This is uh, coded by PMDG who kind of do it by the book. It's very realistic uh, and they even partner up with Boeing uh, to make sure their aircraft are very realistic. Now, not a lot of dual engine failures have happened. And that's a good thing. There's only probably you could count on both hands uh, the amount of times a plane has lost both engines. Of course, the 777 was a notorious one of this back in the early days. Uh, it had an, in, uh, an engine issue with the fuel oil heat exchanger that would cause the fuel to kind of gelatinize and then it would uh, get clogged up in the engines and they'd shut down. Now, of course, we are not going to be simulating that, but we are going to be simulating a dual engine failure and showing you what happens when all of that happens. So let's jump in the cockpit here. Before we do the dual engine failure, I'm going to do one thing. Uh, the APU usually tries to kick on immediately if dual engine failure is detected. So I'm just going to disconnect that right now because I want to show you what happens when an aircraft loses both engines and it's just battery powered. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and go into my uh, airplane options and I'm going to fail both of the engines, trying to do it at the same time. So we're going to do engine number one and engine number two. All right, so we have failed both engines. You will see things happening such as uh, our aircraft will start to fail and we'll start to get lots and lots of warnings and that's okay. But the main part of this thing is that this aircraft is still intact. It's still flying. It's not falling out of the sky like everybody thinks it's gonna. It's kind of just gliding. It's what it is. That's what planes are. Planes are just gigantic gliders. That's what they are. Now you'll see, because we're just running on battery power right now, all we have to work with is our primary fly display. It's not even my co-pilot, not even my message display is showing up. Only the essential operations are happening right now uh, due to this failure. And a lot of the uh, hydraulic assisted stuff like your joy, uh, not your joystick, but your uh, yoke coming back, that's all done. Uh, that's all gonna be very heavy because you don't have the hydraulics uh, working with you to move the control surfaces. But you do have everything you need to see here. So we're keeping a good speed. We can see our vertical speed. Now to get somewhat more electricity back, what we can do is use something called the Ram Air Turbine or more commonly called the RAT. It is a small turbine on the underside of the aircraft, which we'll go look at right now which is a very nice piece of equipment. Basically what it is is it's a turbine that is kind of spring loaded in the aircraft. So you'll see uh, this door kind of pops open and this kind of pops down. And all this is, is a uh, just a windmill. It's using the wind and it's just using uh, that power to power more essential parts of the aircraft. And you'll see here that we're just fine uh, with everything else. Now I will want to show you um, something very nice. Uh, and I'll, I'll kind of show you that after I figure out how to shut it up. All right. I was just going to blare in the ear. I'll probably hit turn this down in post. Uh, but what you can see here is that we're just gliding. And from right now, what it, uh, 
pilot would do would they they would find the nearest airport and they'd pretty much just circle above that airport losing some more altitude losing some more altitude until they can kind of get a straight in approach to that airport and it would bring it down into safety now you're probably asking if you don't have hydraulic control how do you move the landing gear that is a great point, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. You can see the co-pilot is now coming back up because the uh, Ram Air Turbine is providing more power, so it's providing more operations for the aircraft uh, to do its thing. But we still don't have a lot of our autopilot. A lot of this is done manual control now. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to start kind of nose upping the aircraft. And what this is gonna do uh, is this is gonna slow us down so I can show you the next really cool feature uh, of this aircraft. So like I said, we have basic controls, yaw, pitch, left and right. I can still turn the aircraft left. I can still turn the aircraft right. I can pitch it down, I can pitch it up. So I still have full control of this aircraft and that's the main thing that uh, a lot of people think is that you're just become a rock in the sky uh, as soon as those engines turn off because you won't have uh, any power and that's just not true whatsoever. So now, because we're dropping below 270 knots now, I can show you a great part of this aircraft. So let's say the landing gear needs to come down. That landing gear is hydraulically powered. So it needs hydraulics. It needs, <coughs> it needs the plane to do all of this. But what happens when you don't have that? Super simple. They have created this plane with gravity in mind. And I mean gravity in mind. So what I'm gonna do is because we're coming under 270 knots now, we're just gonna throw down the landing gear so I can show you what happens. So as I pitch the nose up, we're going to come over here. And I think I wanna go like that a couple times. Okay, so you also see on our ICAST page here, of course we have all of our failures, but we have this pink line here. This pink line here kind of shows us our optimal speed and flight level. So at flight level 210, our optimal is gonna be between 200 and 270 knots. Keeping it in between uh, that speed will keep us at a good rate of descent while keeping us still in the air, while allowing us to do what we need to do. So that's a fantastic move uh, right there for an aircraft like a 777 to have. Now, uh, some of the smaller aircraft don't have rat systems. They kind of rely on their uh, internal generators so this is not going to be for all aircraft but most large aircraft have a uh, <clears throat> some type of rat system so now we're going to put down our gear but you'll notice that is nothing's happening what we need to do is uh there are a couple buttons that we need to press one is the lock override that kind of unlocks all of the gear and we're going to use our alternate gear so as I kind of monitor our speed, so I make sure we don't crash into the ground, uh, basically this button would need to be pressed down, but it kind of just doesn't keep pressing down. Basically what it does is it gravity feeds the gear down. And I'll kind of show you guys that here now. So it kind of just gravities the gear uh, in a downward motion uh, and it will all come down. So you can see it's already unlocked itself. We'll hop back here into the cockpit here and uh, we'll keep pressing that button. And what will happen is the gear will start to come down and you'll see it actually lock into place. So we'll just kind of keep pressing the button until that gear comes down which is very phenomenal you'll actually see the gear come down here so what i'm also going to do is let's say we kind of get power back right so let's come here let's kind of turn on our generator let's give the generator some power it'll kind of power up most of the aircraft now but we still have no uh controls or we still have no uh, engines. We're still a glider, but look at that. We have our gear down now. We also can have some uh, hydraulics, so you can start to bring down your flaps and add more uh, 
drag to the aircraft so you have so much that you can do with this aircraft especially when it's not powered by engines and it's still just a regular aircraft and works just the same it has the same tolerances and everything uh, and it's just a fantastic uh, piece of equipment so just ignore all of the uh, alarms going off but there you guys go thank you guys so much for watching I just wanted to kind of show off all of this stuff that a plane is just a plane it's a big old glider it glides it turns it does everything you want it to do without any engine power so I think that's just incredible that you can have a plane with no engine power see look the engines are off and it just glides and this is how it does it in real life too so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like share comment and subscribe and of course i will see you guys in our next video